something that's a square brush is going to make one kind of a line if I use the broad area and another kind of a line if I use the thin area. And if I go from thick to thin, if I hold the, the brush at a consistent angle, I can get the lines to taper and do thick, thin lines. Okay, I'm going to make some a straight line across here. And I can either do that freehand, I'd be steadier freehand if I did it with my arms down at my side and I put my finger maybe on the piece and pulled toward me and that would be one way to make a fairly straight line across there. Another way to do that would be to use a straight edge. And so I'm going to prop this up so I don't scuff the color on the edge. And then I can use a straight edge for my brush. And instead of putting the straight edge up against the piece, I put the straight edge out here and then just run my brush along it. And it helps me get a nice straight line. If I want more variation in the colors, I need to load the brush with more than one color. So if you see some of these leaves here have both red and green on them, those are leaves where I've double loaded the brush so that the color mixes with the direction of the brush stroke. So I'm going to start with a chartreuse color as the base color, which is a very warm, light green. I'm going to add a little avocado green and a little bit of this cool blue green on the other side. And then I'm going to put the tip of the brush with a, a warm color that will contrast a little bit with a little orange on the tip. So what I'm going to do is press down on the tip of the brush and then heel down on the brush to make my leaf. So I'm going to press down and lift up. 